All right, this third example, sure. This third example is gonna require a trick. Yes, it's like the early 90s. Um, my math is playing tricks on me. Do, 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 do. How much did the ghetto boys? Oh, sure. I'm looking at this, sure. Now I got my differential and that's gonna be equal to the cosine of x minus y and you're like, how is that separable? <laughs> After we pull a little trick, we're gonna see this is separable, right? Because I have this composition and you may wanna use this substitution when you have a composition. You may wanna use this substitution when you have a composition. I wanna go and I'm gonna let you be this guy. Why? Because if I go and I do that, I'm over here on the side. Here, I'm gonna let you equal the stuff in that argument. Then I wanna differentiate each side with respect to x. And when I do that, on the left side, I get du du dx. And on the right, I'm gonna have, okay, dy dx and the derivative of x with respect to x, that's one, fun. What else am I doing? I wanna solve this guy for dy, why? Because we're gonna see in a minute. Yes, so I have du over x uh, plus one, yes. So what do I want to do? I want to go through and I want to change these guys. I want to replace dy dx with this guy and I want to replace x minus y with that guy. And that's how I'm over here on this next step. I replaced x minus y with u and I replaced dy dx with du dx plus one. Very nice. Why did I do this? Because now I have something that's separable. In my argument I only have a single expression. Sure. So then I subtract off my one. Why? Because I'm about to separate my differential. When I do that, I put dx over there, right? You're not really multiplying by dx. You're separating your differential. Now that I have that over there, I divided by that whole quantity. Oh, okay. Great. So now I'm down there. Yes. But I don't know how to integrate that. So I need some more side work. And I'm over here. I had that original expression, one over the cosine of u minus one. And what do I wanna do? I wanna introduce a du, but without changing a dang thing. So here, I multiply by a magic one. Sure, it's uh, the cosine of u plus one. Right, why did I do that? Because I wanted some conjugation down there. I wanted to conjugate, sure. So I multiply those straight across. And I say, say, then we're gonna get the cosine of u plus one over. It is screaming, the difference of squares. Yeah, but that difference of squares is also a trigonometric identity, isn't it? It's a Pythagorean identity. Oh boy. So that turns out to be minus the sine squared u, right? Why? I'm doing a lot of side work so then I can integrate that function over there. We'll get back there in a minute. But what I wanna do now is I wanna take this fraction and I wanna split it into two fractions. Boom! Where I have the cosine of minus the cosine of u, uh-huh, over sine squared u and minus one over the sine squared u. Okay, why did he do that? Because now if I take a look at this one, man, there's a single cosine and two sines. So can I write that single cosine over one of the sines and then one over the other sign? And if I do that, I'm gonna have minus the cotangent of u times the cosecant of u, integrable. Now take a look at this. This is cosecant squared, integrable. Now I can go over here, boom! After that algebra step, I see, I see, I see, I'm going to integrate both sides. Integrating the left-hand side, because I was at, already have the minus out front. Ooh, ooh, du. Yeah, looks like I forgot my du for that entire thing. Okay, so I'm integrating this guy. Bam, oh, because I already had the minus. Bam, oh, because I already had the minus. I'm not done yet. Yes, I'm gonna take it to the top. Oh, before I get there, that's an x. Uh-huh, bam, yes. But what was the cosecant of you? Boom. That's this one over the sine of u. And the cotangent is the cosine of u over the sine of u. Okay, I have the same denominator, so what can I do to the numerator? Adam. There has to be somebody out there named Adam. Yeah, I can add their numerators. Boom. Okay. Now, 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 wait a minute. That's a trigonometric identity. That's the cotangent of u over two. Yes, a half angle. Go look it up.
Mm-hmm. And then that's still equal to that right-hand side. Why did I want to do that? So that I could take the inverse cotangent of both sides. Now, I was running out of room, so I stepped a couple skips. Yes, I took the inverse cotangent of this side. Okay. And then I multiply both sides by 2. You're going to have to be a Jedi on that. Woom, woom. Okay, sure. So now that I got this guy, I can back sub my u. But what was my u? My u was y minus x. So now I can go back down here. I have y minus x is equal to this guy and finish him. Sure. So y ends up being x plus 2 times the cotangent inverse of x plus c. Oh, wait. And then what? You do. A box. That's not a box. What is that? What is that? Yeah, it's a barbecue. Do you know why? Because that's how I like my math. Well done.